Well, you made some comments. Speaking of Dre, you had made some comments about this, this Dre and Snoop picture. Oh my God. <laughs> That was zesty as hell. Like, it's super what, what makes this picture so zesty? Look at it. Like, it just looks zesty as hell. Like, the shoulders like, are touching a little bit. It's just zesty, bro. It's just like, I, I don't know. I guess they, their feet are sort of on top of each other a little bit. Yeah, it's just I like, mean, bro, like, it looked like a puffy in French Montana picture. Like, <laughs> like, Oh, they have pictures like this too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spooning, actual spooning going on. It's crazy. Wait, are you talking about this picture right here? Definitely that picture, yes. Spooning. It's spooning, bro. And Puffy shirt is off. <laughs> I've never seen that picture before. It's zesty as hell, though, bro. It's, it's, this is a, that's a weird picture. It's, it's zesty. Like, that's, I'm but cool all the French things, and all, but this is, this is a weird picture, French. It's, it's weird, bro. And all the things you hear about Puff, like, that is strange. Like, that's some strange shit. <laughs> that, that is a weird picture, I got to say. Um... Yeah, I, I would. I wouldn't compare the the Dre and Snoop picture to that one. I would. You would. That's bro. Like who? I don't even take a picture with my girl like that. Me and my girl don't even have pictures like that. Like they look like they was on a couple's picnic, and it's like <laughs> somebody put her like, "Oh, can you take a photo of us?" Like it was just zesty <laughs> as hell for two, for two dudes who came out who really was like so influential and such a big part of putting gangster rap and the whole gangster image on the map. To see them years later in a pick like that, like, nah, that's not gangster, bro. There's nothing gangster at all about that. Well, then there's the the trippy red picture. That's the zestiest boy <laughs> out right now. I, he seems like he competing to be the zestiest. Like, I swear, like, him, it seemed like him and Lil Pump. Lil Pump is just like, oh, look at me, I'm zesty too. Like, but it's like, he seemed like him and Trippy Red is like in a direct competition for the zestiest. Like, right. He's got he's got yellow uh, toenails, bro. Uh, uh, toenail polish. He said he said he looking like a male escort. His, <laughs> he said he's looking like a male escort on his fifteen minute break <laughs> <laughs> between hand jobs. <laughs> 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 I'll be on their ass, Vlad. I ain't letting nobody live. I ain't they were, did they respond to you at all? Uh, nah. Nah. No. Because they know not to. They know not to. Like, <laughs> you got yeah. nothing to lose, man. Know, you don't I got go nothing against to lose. Moscow. <laughs> yeah, right. But what can you really say? Like, you can't. It's not like I'm lying. Like, you put this out. This is social media. We're entertainers. You're an entertainer. You place yourself in the realm as an entertainer. And the things you put up and you put out there, you do it for the feedback. So how can you be mad at the feedback that you're getting? Like people are gonna have an opinion and it's just. Yeah, I, I remember Young Thug used to like, you know, from what I understand, like be mad at me over over me making comments about him wearing dresses. How can you be mad? But you're wearing dresses. You're wearing dresses. Bro. I didn't Photoshop that dress on you. You wore it, bro. Like, you went into your closet and you picked out that dress. And so that, that dress was not from the male section exactly. of, of, of the store. So if I say, if I get on here and say, damn, <laughs> y'all look feminine and shit, how, what are you going to be? I'm not lying. You look feminine and shit, bro. Like, <laughs> Dave Chappelle, the, the, the Prince skit on Dave Chappelle. So funny. He was shit. like, you know, shirts versus blouses. And he's like, Prince Star, ice grill of bean. I'm like, what you mad at me for? You know where you bought that shirt? Yeah. That it wasn't in the men's section. section. Exactly. He's like, so how can you be mad? It don't even make no sense. Like, that's why I don't care. It's like, bro, like the truth hurts, but the truth is the truth. Like now if I was lying on you guys and just jumping on the internet, making up shit and propaganda, that's one thing. But this is like, I'm staying, you can't be never mad at a man stating the observation. I don't make up anything or anybody. All I do is state observations. And that's it. That's why I don't I feel so comfortable and I say what I want to say because I'm not gonna say nothing fake. Everything is only state facts. So if I state a fact, if you mad at a fact, then you need to change your truth then. That's on you, bro. <laughs>